This is our new bus. This is a 2003 Ford E450 7.3 liter power stroke. I will touch nothing else. That is my dream motor. She is a five window shorty. She has six two of height clearance on the interior. She's only 22 feet long, which is the same length as an extended sprinter van, which is great. I can still drive her anywhere. And this bus only has 61,000 miles on it. First plan of attack is to get these seats out. And then Rio and I, <laughs> We have an adventure ahead already, so I can't do the conversion here. I don't have shop space and I don't have the tools. So we are gonna take a trip somewhere else <laughs> where we can actually do the conversion and also have some assistance. I'm so excited and I will document this all again just in my pursuit of self-growth, self-discovery, challenging myself. This is a fresh start and I'm excited to push myself out of my comfort zone, work my ass off, and see where this new journey takes me. Taking the seats out, I have successfully stuffed my face with probably too many carbs, frankly. And next order of business is playing up this rubber mat on the floor. Okay. Before stepping into this metamorphosis, I had begun to lose myself. I was off-center spiritually. 
It began to manifest in my unhealthy relationship, in my increased anxiety, and in a deep and uncomfortable knowing that I was not where I needed to be. Have you ever had a feeling like that haunt you? Ugh. The life I was living was beautiful, but I could feel a growl inside me telling me my path ahead needed to change course. I had no idea where I was being called, and frankly, my path forward is still unclear. But the moment I decided to let go of the things I knew I needed to, I felt peace. Sometimes you don't need a concrete reason to let go. You can simply let your intuition guide you, trusting the process. Stoicism recognizes that resistance, or non-acceptance, is the source of suffering. The moment resistance came into my life in the form of holding on to things my soul knew I needed to let go of, suffering began to appear everywhere, in my relationship, mental health, physical health, career, and so on. Practicing non-resistance is a journey itself. The urge to hold on to things you've poured your heart into is undeniable, of course. But you can't have rebirth without death first. So, I have been through the death portion of this rebirth and I'm ready to start rebuilding my life. And this little bus is symbolic of that. I'm taking this opportunity to take a hard look at myself, my life, and understand how I can be better and what my mark on this world could be. This experience is already humbling and empowering and I'm embracing it all. By the way, after pulling up all of the metal trim to the floor, I've decided to leave the floor where it is and instead wait to pull it up until we get to where we're going, which I'll touch on in just a second. There we go. Move over. <sighs> so, <laughs> I think that's a wrap for day one. I am pretty impressed with myself with everything I was able to get done in the time frame that I did. Um, but I do have some news for you guys. I do not have the shop space here. I do not have the tools to do the build. Logistically speaking, when I bought the bus, I hadn't figured out exactly how it was going to fall into place or where the build was going to take place. Um, but I got a phone call from a friend shortly after purchasing the bus who is an incredible human being, incredibly talented, and he has a shop in Colorado. And he, just by chance, had an opening in his build schedule. So I will be heading to Colorado to build out the bus there with his help. Uh, I'll touch more on that once we get over there. Uh, but that means Rio and I <laughs> are going to be heading cross country once again. Oh, look at that foot. Gross. Um, but yeah, Rio and I are going cross country. Going to go to Colorado. Uh, we'll just be roughing it in the new bus, uh, which will be so much fun. Uh, if any of you guys have watched my previous episodes, you'll know that I lived in my other bus unconverted for quite some time under different circumstances. Um, but yeah, Rio and I are just stripping down to the bare bones. We'll have the mattress. We'll have a couple boxes of my things and we'll just trek to Colorado. I am so deeply grateful for this fresh start and how everything is falling into place, even with the build location and who is going to be a part of this project. It's just, it's an absolute dream. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Today is move-in day. It's the day I set intentions for the journey ahead and take count of all of my material possessions. It's funny to see how your life boils down in material form. <laughs> Today, this little steel box on wheels becomes home.
so a little bit of my backstory. With my first bus, as some of you know, uh, I got into that really out of necessity. So I fell on hard times and was living in the bus unconverted for housing. That's how I got into bus life. And I was really trying to pick myself back up get myself on my feet again. So I was starting a small business. So I was answering any and all Craigslist ads I possibly could for small businesses that needed marketing help. So that was a total grind. I was making almost next to nothing at first because I needed to build the skills to offer more value to these small businesses and figure out how to help these small businesses succeed. During that process, I had I had no shop, I had no tools, I had no money, I had no space to do the conversion. I money was so tight. I was eating Cheerios for two meals a day. Uh, you know, I just didn't have the resources at that time. But I found a contractor who was willing to do the build for me uh, at a discounted rate in exchange for me helping them out with their marketing. I was able to drop my my bus off at the contractors at their shop and I just moved in on my friend's couch and then in with my partner at the time um, while the bus slowly got done as the money trickled in as I was slowly able to get myself back on my feet and start to grow my business because I also knew that I needed that business to sustain myself living on the road um, and that process worked out beautifully for that first build. I did all the blueprinting, designing, material sourcing. I did a lot of the prep work, uh, but I wasn't able to put hammer to nail through the whole build process, which is something I'm so excited about with this bus build. So you guys are gonna see me make all the mistakes. Everything I'm doing, it, I'm doing for the first time and I am just so ready to learn and to push myself out of my comfort box. Comfort box. I'm pretty sure it's a comfort zone, but um, we'll call it a box today. <laughs> so that's a little bit about my story, because uh, I think there's a little confusion that I know what I'm doing. I don't. Do any of us really know what we're doing now? I, that, that, that's me on my soapbox, I guess, as I hold my laundry. No one knows what they're doing, just remember that, okay? What do you think, Rio? Staged as I woke up. And here's the bus in all her glory. I love this life. I just love stripping down to the bare bones. Makes you just feel alive. Day three has been a little bit of a whirlwind, but we've had our first mishap. It's not, it's not big. Uh, but I took the bus, oh my gosh, look at me. I'm a disaster. Um, but I took the bus to the mechanic just to get the AC charged and to get an independent mechanic to look her over. Everything all is all good. Uh, and I drove her back and I started smelling something and I was like, oh, that's weird. Get out and I realized that heater, when I was doing the demo, I loosened the tubes to get the seat out and never tightened them back up. So that heater leaked coolant everywhere so I had to take out the rug toss that toss a couple of other things luckily I was able to save the mattress it only has one little wet spot uh, on the sheet but I need to go 
by coolant and I'll buy oil while I'm at it and a tarp for my new rug, but it's no big deal. Um, bus life, right? Okay. Whew. So I officially got oil and coolant and I just stopped and got a pair of heels because I have a wedding I need to go to um, in Chicago in a couple weeks. So I guess get you a girl who could do both, right? Oil and heels. Standard shopping trip. Hashtag solo came out. Bus life. It is leaving day. Rio and I will be starting our cross country trip in our new home. So this will be fun. I had to do a little bit of rearranging because of our incident last night. So the heater, which is covered here, um, is now squished between this heavy bin and my Mr. Buddy to make sure that it doesn't wobble and that the tubes don't loosen up while I drive. They're super duper tight now. I tighten them up real good. Um, so that should be good. And I bought myself a sink and snacks and groceries for Rio and I. So I'm just gonna organize our new home a little bit and I will be making it to somewhere in upstate New York today. We'll drive about six hours. We'll see how long it takes us to get there. But we're excited. This is officially our new chapter and we're taking off. What do you think, Rio? What do you think, Rio? Rio, what do you think, girl? What do you think? You think Bob is crazy? Maybe. <laughs> we're all packed up. We're roughing it, Rio and I. I am just so excited and nervous to jump back into this. It's, it's pretty exhilarating. It's been a wild and fast transition, but I am so ready for this next chapter. So Rio and I will be living the unconverted bus life uh, all the, on the way out to Colorado, and we will begin building this out, building my new house out there. I'm so grateful for this journey. We cut it. There's no going back. I'm scared to cut it more because <laughs> of the pressure. 